In this video, I'd like to show you how I manually manage my references, the search items that I locate through my search strategy. This is just a manual method and a method that I've devised, having worked with many systematic reviews in the past. I'm convinced that there's many other methods, some of them may be easier, some involve software, so please explore those options as well. And if anybody in the community can advise on easier methods, more user-friendly methods, please do so. And let's empower others to, to really make their lives easier as well. Okay, let me show you how I do this. So firstly, I find my, do my search in, for example, PubMed. So now there's an option in PubMed to export to a citation manager. Okay, and I can click that and I create the file. Now you'll see the file appearing in your downloaded items. But before you click on that, as soon as you click on that, because my EndNote program is already open, it will automatically open in EndNote. So what I can do, I click on this mm -hmm. and it opens up in EndNote. Now the next step is to make sure that you use a style which also um, shows the abstract as well. It just makes it easier if you have the abstract with you because when you review your titles it's easy to see if the abstract's right there and you've exported it from the start to later on review your abstract as well. So what I've done is I've created my own style. So you can go to edit output style and start a new style but the best is to edit the author date style because everything is in place already and you can just add the abstract to that. So I've already edited it. So here's my style. So all mm. I've done, I've opened the um, author date style and then I went to templates and I add it via insert field. I inserted abstract. Let's not do this double behind each of these reference types so you'll see here, abstract 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 and this just means that this or this style will include the abstract make sure that you save there we go now my make sure that you change the referencing style here systematic review export with abstract hmm. and here's my references so now to copy and paste into excel i'm going to highlight all of these Control a Right click, copy formatted, don't just copy, copy formatted. Go to your Excel spreadsheet. I now here have a new sheet that says PubMed 2018. We're doing a scoping review and I need to update the search. And here we go. All of them pasted here. Now you'll see if you look at these references, it contains the full reference and it also has got the abstract right here. So when you start reviewing your titles and deleting the irrelevant papers based on titles, when you get to the phase where you're going to review the abstracts, you have the abstracts right here with you and you don't have to go back to the databases to search for the abstract. Just save some time. Now, how I go about it further from here onwards, I follow the same method for all these databases. And exporting to a citation manager is slightly different for all of them but most of them you can manage some of them it's not possible and you have to find some manual way to export to EndNote and then copy and paste into Excel the export to EndNote is quite nice because it puts your reference in a in a user-friendly format you know one reference per line now from here onwards I have a list of all the references and at some stage, I add the references, I copy and paste all these references into one sheet. So here you can see we found 206, 2016 papers. So I copy and paste it all into one sheet. And then I go and sort. I 
go and sort um, alphabetically. And once it is in alphabetical order, it's easy to see where the duplicates are. So let me just show you this. So many. So if you go on and you sort from A to Z, then they are all in alphabetical order. And from here onwards, it's easy to see where the duplicates are. So if you look at the, these three papers, Munro, there's three of them. And these two are duplicates of the first one. So I highlight the duplicates. Make sure you don't highlight all three of them. Just highlight two of them to find the duplicates. Thereafter, you're going to copy and paste the entire sheet into a new sheet where you, are, you can easily sort according to the highlighted color and you can easily remove the duplicates. And then you copy and paste into a new sheet and into a new sheet again. So here in this sheet, you can sort ac according to color and you can easily remove all the duplicates. And it's also important to have all these different sheets because when you put your Prisma diagram together and you need to count the number of articles per um, duplicates and so on, this is very important. So you go on and then you... Go you, you have different sheets for each of these little steps that you are taking. I hope this helps and I hope you, you can use this method in your systematic review. But again, in the community, please, you guys are wise and you are experts in your own right. Tell me which methods you are devising to get this job done.